All right, Cole. So uh, today's the day. You're the first person I've talked to. Uh, was it noon today that they made the final announcement? Yeah, it was like noon one when I first found out. So they finally told you guys they were no longer postponing. They were going to cancel, right? Yeah. All right. What's the first thing you, you – okay, so your dad's the head coach at Lake Catholic, right? Yeah. So your dad's your head coach. And what's the first thing – what have you guys been able to do during this quarantine anyway? Like, have you been able to train at all? Honestly, it's been super tough. I mean, everything you can do really is, like, off-site, like, in a barn, basically, or like, in my basement. You know, you can't really go to any gyms right now. You can't go to I – mean, obviously, can't go to Lake Catholic, so – I mean, you can't really do much right now. What are you guys just doing? Running and, like, uh, old Rocky stuff? Yeah, I mean, today I just, like, went for a run. Like, lift in my basement. Go lift at my coach's house. I can't say that, but I did that. <laughs> yeah. What about – um? What about you guys got a, a gym down there? Do you have a uh, – actually, do you have a uh, mat in your basement? Yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but, like, I worked out on it. Yeah, I can work out on it. Do you, like, ragdoll your dad? Do you beat the old man up? <laughs> No, no, I worked out with Kavan. Yeah, okay. So Kavan yeah. came around, and you were able to at least get that. You at least were able to have one person you could work out with and be around. Um, so that's actually a pretty good partner. <laughs> it's a really good partner. Um, so far, what are your finishes? You're a junior at Lake Catholic. What are your finishes at the state tournament in Ohio? Fifth and fourth. So you've been fifth and fourth, and you made the semifinals every year, even as a freshman and a sophomore. Yep. So... I think I had your one against Rocky in your freshman year. Yeah. So you had Rocky Jordan. You were giving him fits. I remember he couldn't finish. He had a hard time finishing on you. You were funk rolling on him, doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah, for a minute. Yeah. You were, yeah, but it, look, hey, you are getting the job done, right? You, you, I mean, you might not have won, but, I mean, you frustrated him, and he killed everybody else. He did have a tough yeah. final that year. But um, And then last year, who did you wrestle in the semis? I forget. Uh, I wrestled Torres in the semis. Did he catch you with a headlock or something crazy? No, that was for Daniels for third and fourth. I already beat him in the quarters, though. He headlocked you and pinned you? Uh, yeah, for third and fourth. So he, he beat you for third and fourth. And then this year, what would they have you pick this year? Third this year? Yeah. So you're climbing the ladder. You're fifth as a freshman, fourth as a sophomore. They got you picked third this year. Would you? Uh, how did Lake Catholic do at the, the, the district this year? You know, I think as far as, like, Burrow fan or whatever goes, like, we probably weren't supposed to get as many out as we did. But, you know, we ended up getting eight. I think with Tommy and Grady in the lineup, we get nine. So. You had eight qualifiers going into the tournament? Yeah. Okay. So what did what did Graham have? What did Louisville have? What did all the other teams have? They all had, like, eight, between eight and nine, didn't they? <laughs> Everyone, no one had more than eight. I know that. So you guys, you guys were right there. You were right there to win a title this year. You lost yeah. in a barn burner in the duel to Aurora in the regional final, right? Yeah. So I mean, Lake Catholic's right there. You're about to, you know what I mean? Like, if you guys would have won and won the tournament, it wouldn't have surprised anyone. I don't think. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't think anyone had us winning, but I know our group of guys. We all thought we were going to win. Do you think anybody had Lake Catholic getting eight guys to the state tournament? No. No. I mean, my dad every year, so. That's that's actually pretty good. So, you guys qualified eight. I think Louisville had eight. How many did, did Aurora have? Seven? I couldn't tell you. Aurora, I think, had eight. No, I think Graham had eight as well. Okay. So, it was going to be pretty even. Matt, Graham only got eight out of that district, right? That's crazy. Yeah, because that's normally the big thing for them is they are they normally have ten or twelve guys because the district isn't as hard as your district. Right, it's hard to compete when you got ten, eleven guys usually coming out of the Graham district. Yeah, they, their district is usually a huge advantage to them. But so we're not going to know. It's over. It's canceled. Um, what were you guys doing between here and there? Like now that we're in this like real weird situation where we're probably locked down for at least another two weeks. Is late, yeah. what, what's Lake Catholic's date back to school? Uh, honestly, I don't know if we have a step date to go back to school or if we are going to go back to school this year. I mean, we started an online school. I mean, it's honestly, it's pretty easy. We got like two classes a day, so it's not that bad. Um, like some days I was able to like go out and work. So it's been pretty nice. 
Um, I mean, honestly, I hope you go back to school. That was kind of boring sitting at home all day. So. And you guys live in Concord, don't you? Yeah. Do you live so Concord's beautiful? There's a lot of parks. We were up there at uh, how far do you live from like Girdled Road, Girdled Road uh, Reservation? Bro, I was just running up there today. Dude, that place is awesome. We were just there. I yeah. take my kids on the bridge and try and knock them down. Yeah, yeah, that, that, like the shaky bridge. Yeah, it's a suspension yeah. bridge. Yeah, it's awesome. So that's yeah. like you could run to that from your house, couldn't you? Yeah. That's crazy. That so there's like lots of stuff for you to do out there. I'm guessing you guys got ATVs too. <laughs> Uh, we do, yeah, uh, I don't know if we have our full wheeler here right now, but she's here at the cabin. Okay. Yeah, I'd be riding, a four, I already ride my four-wheeler, try and ride it about every other day. Take my kids oh, for yeah. a ride, take my wife for a ride, pull some trees down, you know, do man stuff. Um, <laughs> what what have you done for off-season tournaments? Do you go to Fargo and stuff like that, Cole? Yeah, I mean, I do, I've gone to Fargo the last couple of years. What's your best, how, how do you finish at Fargo? Uh, my best finish was I lost in the blood round. You lost in the blood round, like top twelve in Fargo. Yeah. And then you do Super Thirty Two and that and all that stuff too, don't you? Uh, I lost in the blood round to Super Thirty Two this year. Dude, you're right there, man. You're right there being a top eight guy in the country. You realize that? Like you're like you're like this close. You know that, right? Yeah. Get me. How about your Ironman finishes? You've wrestled in the Ironman how many times now? Uh, the last two times, but this year I hurt my ankle. At Ironman or before Ironman? Before Ironman. My coaches didn't even like, really want me to wrestle, but I wrestled. I actually beat a pretty tough kid. I know um, he made the semis out of NHSCA, so he wasn't bad. And then I lost to, uh, I think he's from Virginia. Pretty tough kid. I think he got like third or fourth at Super 32. I lost to him like three to two. So you but lost. Then I defaulted. You, you lose like real close matches. What was the match you lost at districts this year? Uh, to Delesio. Delesio Canfield, the defending champ. What was the score? Two one. He beat you. Two, you lose. You lose really close matches, man. Um, going into your senior year, how do you handle this, and how do you like, how do you take and and, and use this as fuel for the fire next year? Yeah, you know, it's hard, but I, I think everyone's kind of put, been put in, like, the same situation where if it would have been something, like, I did to, like, not win a state title, like, it would have been different than, like, I mean, everyone, like, everyone's in the same boat, right? So, obviously, it sucks, but, you know, you just kind of got to move on. You got to look ahead to Fargo. I mean, puts more pressure on that for me um, in Super 32, but... Definitely looking forward to next season. And, I mean, we got a pretty good group of guys, so I'm looking forward to see what we can do. How many of the eight qualifiers come back for Lake Catholic? Uh, we got six coming back. So you guys got six state qualifiers coming back. How many of you guys have pl placed previously? Um, just me and Brendan are former placers. Okay. So six place or two placers, two placers, six qualifiers coming back out of, off of this team. Yep. So you guys are going to be pretty good next year. Yeah, I mean, we got some guys coming in. Hopefully, uh, Slight Sleeper. Um, and then if Tommy and Grady's good for next year. Oh, yeah. He, he had to sit out semester? Yeah, he had to sit out the second half of the year. But he was like, I think he would have won a state title, honestly. That's so crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. It blows my mind. Um. Okay, colleges. So you're in a situation now. I was talking to Scott Goodale about this. Like, they really – I know that, like, Rutgers, I know, obviously, Kent State, um, Ohio State, a lot of these programs really put a lot of stock into what happens at the Ohio State tournament. Um, you're not going to get a state tournament this year. But we've seen you play set it twice before. You've made the semifinals twice. What do you do to raise the, you know – your stock between here and now you can sign in November, right? What do you do between here and there? And how do you raise your stock between here and there? Um, you know, you're probably someone who looks maybe big 10. I don't know where, where you're thinking right now. What are your college choices? What are you thinking? Um, you know, I, I'm keeping my options open um, to raise my stock. I mean, I think I just got to continue to train. Um, look forward past the kind of whole coronavirus thing, you know, um, you know, obviously the whole situation sucks, but like I said, we're all in the same situation, we're all in the same boat. Um, 
But, you know, next is Fargo. I don't know what they're going to do as far as, like, qualifiers and whatnot. So I don't really know how long this is going to go on, to be honest. Um, but depending, hopefully, I mean, if it doesn't go into Fargo. Next thing will be Fargo and then into Super 35th. Okay, so they are taking your state championships. There's no qualifiers this year, and it's just the state championships. Did you know that? No, that's what they're. I'm telling you, that's what they're doing. Oh, oh okay, that's, that's what they're doing. Yeah. There's no, there's no qualifiers. It's everybody's at the state this year. If you want to go and get on the Fargo team, go to state. That's that's literally it. Gotcha. That's I actually pretty that. sweet for you guys. Now you don't have to worry about going to a, a qualifier, right? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So, um. What are choices right now? What are you thinking right now? Your dad wrestled at John Carroll. That's D3. John Carroll's like 25 minutes from your house, maybe. Yeah, 25, 30. Yeah, so you're right there, John Carroll. Lake Erie College is 10 minutes from your house. Ohio State's two and a half hours from your house. Penn State's four and a half hours from your house. Uh, Michigan's three and a half hours. I, I can keep. You're in Big Ten country. Yeah. Uh, you're in D2 country. You know, Notre Dame College, they've been multiple times. That's 25, 30 minutes from your house. What are you thinking right now, Cole? Um, you know, the plan right now is D1. Uh, I've taken a couple of official, or, well, unofficial visits, but uh, plan to take some official bit, uh, excuse me, official visits um, uh, next school year. Where have you gone unofficially and visited? Uh, I went on unofficial to Pitt, uh, Indiana, Cleveland State. That's okay. it, right so now. it's Cleveland State. Josh Moore's doing a really good job there. Do you pay attention to what these guys do? If you look at a, a, I think Cleveland State had seven guys placed in the MAC tournament this year. It's their first year in the Mid American Conference. Josh Moore's done a really good job. When you go visit there, it's you know the, a problem that they've always had is they can't keep guys like you around. Is that yeah. something where you definitely consider? And it's not just an unofficial visit. That's something you consider. No, I mean I'm definitely probably gonna go check it out again. Um. You know, that's been kind of their big thing while recruiting me is, you know, we get a lot of good talent from this area that goes elsewhere. Um, trying to keep some of these guys around and build something great over there. So Yeah, definitely, man. I like that. And then, um, so right now it's 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 D1. You're thinking D1. Is D2 off the table, or are you thinking that you could go to a D2 and maybe check some of the D2s out? Yeah, you know, nothing's off the table. Um, I might even go check some out for sure. Okay, yeah, and Lake Erie College is five minutes from your house, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, literally. Five it's minutes. like really close. So Jeff Bree's doing a nice job there. I think they they were on the mat warming up when their tournament got canceled. Oh yeah. Yeah. The D two guys were on the mat warming up because I talked to who did I talk to? I got to talk to uh what D two coach did I get to talk to? Oh, Joey Simcoe. They were on the mat doing their final weight cut. You know? So some these were like about to be placing. That's so crazy, dude. The whole thing is just like insane. So, but like, did these dudes weigh in yet? No, or they like... had not weighed in yet, but they were on their final weight cut. Right. All right. Hey, last thing I got for you, and then we can turn it over to the old man. I got to cut this live video, but last thing I got for you. Um, what does misery love company in this situation? Does everybody in the same boat here? You know, I talked to Patty Gallagher. I think you, I'm going to talk to Mick Burnett tomorrow. You're only the second high school kid I talked to. Do you guys all feel like you're at least in the same situation, in the same boat here? Yeah. Um, that's kind of what me and Duke were talking about is we're just like, I mean, like I said, if it was something that like we did that like messed up our state title, um, you know, it'd be different. Or if like, if we went and like we wrestled and like, at least we got to like go prove if we were the best, right? But, like, we're all in the same boat, so, like, obviously it sucks. But, you know, at least we now know it's canceled and kind of move on almost. Yeah, the postponement was, like, I think that the OHSA, 80% of their revenue is their sports tournament gate events, I believe. They don't really do much for else for revenue, and it's like, you know, I don't want to see the organization fold, but at the same time, I don't want to, I don't want to keep them – I don't want you guys to hang on and be like, oh, this – this is going to happen when we, I mean, you, dude, you knew, you knew right when they postponed it, right? I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, right when they postponed it, it was basically like, it's over, you know? Yeah. just wasn't going to happen. I, I mean, I knew that you knew that, um, you know, you're a 16, what are you, 16 or 17, Cole? 
I'm 18. You're 18? Okay, so you're 18. You knew. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're still a kid, though. You're 18 and you knew. All right. All right. Do you still wipe the old man up? Do you, do you, just, do you just... You hurt the old man or do you, like, try and... Do you, do you beat him up or are you kind? What do you do? Uh, sometimes when we're hand fighting, I got to snap him a little hard. Got to gotta show him what's up. But other than that, not too much. You he doesn't really him. throw in his shoes too much, though, honestly. Yeah, he, dude, you, when you wrestle old men, man, we gotta like, can't, we can't shoot on you and stuff. Come on. You can't scramble. Come on. You, if you dive roll between your dad's legs, you're gonna blow his knee out. He's gonna need new hip, a new knee. What are you doing? Don't do that. Yeah, no, you're right. You'd be wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, you got anything else for me, Cole? No, nah, that's it. All right, buddy. Hey, thank you for the time. Stick around after I cut this video here and uh, we'll talk briefly and then I'll get the old man on, all right? For sure. Sounds good. Thanks, Cole. Yep.